Hi, welcome back. My name is Charles. And I'm Oceana, and we are Twin Flames in a Harmonious Union and Married, and I am a Certified Ascension Coach. And today, uh, we've got a really good, juicy topic for you, especially as the Divine Feminine. If you are struggling with your Divine Masculine right now, you're going to want to know this number one thing. This number one thing that I learned that was a game changer with the relationship with my Divine Masculine and this is going to really help you. So stay tuned and keep watching. So one of these things that is number one when you, this is number one, having a relationship with your divine masculine. And we're going to share our experience here with this. But it is that this is a total game changer. You cannot control your divine masculine <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. You cannot control your divine masculine at all. You cannot control his choices. You cannot control his actions, what he wants to do. You can't control your way into having a relationship with your man, not a single ounce. Because the reason why is because your divine masculine won't respond to that. Control is chasing. That's chasing energy, right? When you're trying to control your way or control them, right? Or even like push twin flames on them and like just trying to push you in this place to to commit to you. This will push your divine masculine so far away from you because you're trying to chase them and they don't respond to chasing energy. They only respond to you loving yourself in this place and they only respond to you, yeah, loving yourself and this is how you attract them. You love yourself they are attracted and magnetized to you so in the process all you're doing is fighting ego yeah <laughs> and so with this experience when it comes to trying to control my divine masculine we experience a lot a lot of this in our union where we try to control charles <laughs> I still, I still laugh for. I try, try to so hard to try to control Charles to do something that I would want him to do, and I would be met with so much resistance. And a really good example of this is like when Charles had friends that I did not like, okay, and I did not feel like I resonated with them. It was, it was so obvious to me, right? I'm like, it's so obvious that these are shit friends, right? It's so obvious that you should not be with these friends with these people I would try to control my man you shouldn't be friends with people you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that stop being friends with this person all I got was a huge wall of resistance instead of just loving myself and looking at my feelings about it right using the mirror exercise that Jeff and Shalia teach I would constantly be met with resistance here because all I needed to do was to just love myself in this place it wasn't even about him it wasn't even about his friends it was me. I needed to just look at my feelings about it and uh, heal here in this place. And all of that, all of those things where I wanted to control would naturally, as they did, as I moved through this, fall away very easily and effortlessly. So when you try to control, you get resistance and you close, you close love off. You close receiving love. You close attracting your man to you, you know, because your divine masculine, excuse <laughs> has his own lessons that he has to learn, right? He's got his own things that he has to be sure. Yeah, he's got his own experiences that he has to go through. And uh, you can't stop him, right? You can't stop those experiences from happening. And I guess, like, how did you feel when I would try to, like, control you? I, that, it's, I were, and that was hilarious. Yeah. But it all it all came to a head, and, and the funny part is, is that, Walked away from that friendship without a blink of an eye because it's just the way it was. Yeah, and it, that happened because I just eventually just like loved and accepted this situation. And this is let it all unfold. Yeah, I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna stop trying to control here, and I'm gonna let go. Right? I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna keep moving through my feelings about how I feel like heavy friends and not listening to me. And then as I just was like, you know what? Maybe maybe we can try being friends here, right? As I just accepted and, and loved here, it all came crumbling down very naturally, and very easily. Well, the funny thing is that I didn't end the friendship. They did. 
And it was because she said that my vibe had changed. Mm -hmm. And I had no problem with that whatsoever because he's right. It did. My vibe rose or his. Well, that's what it was. <laughs> right. Because when you, you know, you come into harmonious union, you lose people along the way, you know. And the the whole thing with this friendship and letting this go and it was really a big lesson for me around like control. And, you know, that's been a, a huge thing in our union. It's like, you know, you can't ever control your man, <laughs> especially if you want them to commit to you deeper. Uh, you have to let go. You have to give them the freedom, the space that they're asking and desiring and allow yourself to just sit up and relax, right? And attract them to you through loving yourself. And this was like key to getting Charles to, it was even part of it, you know, for, for us going deeper in commitment and getting married. Cause it's like, okay, we're together for a while. We have not already see you again, but we weren't married yet. So and instead of like going to Charles and say, where are we married? Blah, 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 blah. You know, getting out pissed off about it. I just attracted the experience to me naturally. And I moved through my feelings about it and like why we weren't married and imagining myself having a wedding and Charles, you know, naturally coming to me with that choice and that desire in his heart because I attracted that to me. I didn't have to control my way into getting my man to, to do something or to force any sort of way. And that's not saying you don't have like these conversations. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying the initial vibe, right, is to attract your divine masculine. And when you learn this lesson and when you, you learn that, you know, the art of letting go of control and mastering attraction, that's a huge game changer for you with your divine masculine. Because, you know, nobody wants to be controlled, not even you, right, as the divine feminine. So you have to give them that freedom give them that space and whatever is going on that you don't like, you simply just move through your feelings about it and you wa you will watch the magic unfold very naturally. So is there anything else you want to say? Yeah. It doesn't mean they, they go off Galliman. Galliman. You know, just go and do whatever, you know, yeah. party up with their friends or whatever part. That's not what we're talking about. I'm not left to them. It's just, you know, let it go. And they were fine their way. Yeah. Like you have to just like anything that's occurring in your reality with your divine masculine, like, like trying to force them to be with you, right? You're my twin flame. Why won't you be with me? And they're like, I don't know. Why are you trying to force me? Right. That that's going to, that's going to push them a million miles away. Right. Trying to force them to commit to you, trying to do all that just pushes them away. Like Charles, like you were saying, like, um, yeah, it doesn't mean Oh, your divine masculine, he can just do whatever he wants and it's okay. Like, obviously there's, you know, if you're being disrespected in that place and not valued, you heal through that and you set boundaries, right? That try to control. And then your divine masculine naturally aligns with you in this place. So as a divine feminine, really learn to let go of this one because this is a huge game changer for you on your twin flame journey. And sometimes as a divine feminine, you may sit back and go like, I'm not... I'm not trying to control what, and you may be surprised as you just look at it and, and what's occurring. Um, cause that is a, a number one thing that can push your divine masculine away. If you're like, okay, where is he? Why is he not here? Just look at this one. There may be somewhere where you're letting, you're holding out of control instead of just surrendering and loving yourself in this place. So, so true. Yes. So don't forget to go to Twin Flames Universe and check out the free introductory course that can help support you on your Twin Flame journey and help you learn how to attract your Twin Flame into your life. Who doesn't love free? Yes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.